I feel lost. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I know that the world is a interesting place to be right now and there's a lot going on, but if this video can provide you with a little bit of a distraction to focus inward, well, then I've done my job properly. Lately, I've been thinking a lot, maybe overthinking, and I've been thinking a lot because I feel lost. But lost isn't always a bad place to be, and this is something that I've kind of discovered over the past few years, but don't get me wrong, I 100% have had an existential crisis through thinking about all of these things. And lost, or rather being at a crossroads, is yes, full of moments of anxiety, but it can also be full of moments of opportunity and change, and within change comes growth. So that is something that I have been extremely excited about. My friend Brett brought up this concept to me years ago, and it was one of those things that when he presented it to me, I was like, this is so cool. What an awesome way of thinking about life and purpose and finding that purpose in life. Now at this time, this was a period of time when Brett was at a crossroads trying to decide what to do with his life, but I was very much still within that intermediate phase of where I was. So it didn't bring me as much gravity as it is right now. Today we're gonna to talk about ikigai. In Japanese, the word iki means life and the word gai means value or worth. Basically, this all sums up to a reason for being, and many people use this method to try to figure out what their purpose is in life. If it sounds like I'm talking from an expertise note, it's because I've been doing a lot of reading. And this book is Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long, Happy Life, written by Hector Garcia and Francis Morales. What is your why? Not your mom's why, not society's why, not anyone else's why for wanting a next day in our lives, but your direction, what is your why? Okay, so these are the questions I want you to answer. What are you good at? What do you love to do? What does the world need? And how can you get paid for it? So let's take a look at Ikigai as I'm editing through all of this footage, I love where this is going, but I wanna make something blatantly clear. There's no perfect answer, and that can be really scary, but following principles like this can lead us down a journey to finding what our own personal purpose is in that moment. One of the biggest guiding principles of this is living in the present moment, and my ikigai is completely changed today from what it was a year ago, and it will be changed in a year from now. So that just is another reinforcing point that this is a practice. So let's dive into our present moment Ikigai practice today and answer some questions. And the way that this whole thing works together, we'll break it down piece by piece, starting with what are you good at? These are just a couple of things that I think that I'm good at to give you some inspiration. The next one is what do you love? I think this one means a lot to me but we also want to do something that the world needs. That gives us a real sense of purpose and grounding. And we also need to eat, so how can we get paid for it? The intersection of what we're good at and what we love, that's passion. The intersection of what we love and what the world needs, that's a mission that we can accomplish. And a vocation, well, that's what the world needs and what we can get paid for. Along the lines of a career similar to a profession, but this is more what we're good at and what we can get paid for. When we find three intersections together, there are defining principles between what makes those good, but not yet perfect. And usually those are a sense of uncertainty or even a feeling of emptiness. Feel free to pause this throughout the video just so you can get a better idea. The intersection of all of these things, that is Ikigai. Don't worry because this isn't a concrete, down on paper, this is what I have to become to be happy. Oftentimes in life, this kind of thing, our purpose, our North Star, it changes along that journey. And for me, 100% that has been true. And two, Experience is one of the best things that will lead you down the line of finding your purpose. I remember when I was exiting university, I really thought that I wanted to be a financial planner. It was not for me, but I wouldn't have known that I didn't wanna do that unless I had been in the position where I was an executive assistant for a financial planner, seeing what this whole life entailed and then realizing 
oh, that actually isn't the craft for me. If this was way too hard to do and you were just even feeling lost in this process, I do have a step for you. And that is going to be paying attention to the moments where you're glowing. In life, just take some moments to really pay attention to when you feel the most alive, who you're around when you feel that way, and what you're doing in those moments, because soon that could start to filter into your diagram. The question being, when are you truly living? And for me, that's when I'm in creative flow. There is so much more to Ikigai than just this diagram. This was just laying the foundation to see if this is something you're interested as much as I am. And if you are, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've heard of this principle before, I would also love to hear of where you found it. If you think you found your life's purpose, please leave it in the comments below. Or if you have other tips on truly finding yourself and appreciating the moments in this journey, I would also love to hear from you on that. Remember, this was just a focus on career. There are so many other things that bring our life purpose, not just our job, but this is where I'm at currently dealing with finding my life's purpose through my work. I'm sending you guys so much love and positivity. Thank you for watching this far. I think that I am finally figuring out uh, what I want to do and it might be staring me right in the face. We'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.